Percents as proportions and applications. Percent, increase, decrease. When we're solving percent, increase, proportions, we want to start off with the difference of our initial and our final amounts all over the initial. This will equal our percent over 100. Sometimes we're just given the, the final amount and we need to find the initial amount. And in that case, we would start with our final amount over our initial, which would we would call x. And we would start with 100%, which would be for our initial. And then we would either be adding or subtracting the percent that we're given, depending on whether we're increasing or decreasing, all over 100. Let's see how that works for in example one. We have a price of a sofa was $299. And during the weekend sale, the price was dropped to $179. What was the percent decrease? So we'll start with our initial amount, which was $299 minus our final amount, which is 179, all over our initial amount, which is 299. We're looking for our percent, so that will be our x, and that will be over 100. So we have 199 minus 179, which would give us 120 over 299 equal to x over 100. Now we're going to multiply by our common denominator. That means our 299's would cross off here, and our 100's would cross off here, giving us 12,000 equal to 299x. Divide by our 299, and we're going to get that x equals 40.1337%. In most cases, you will need to round your decimal. We're going to round this one to 2, and since our 3 is less than 5, we're going to keep it at 40.13% for our answer. Let's take a look at example 2. In example 2, we have the population of a small town was 12,345 in 2000. This represents a decrease of 39.3% from 1990. What was the population in 1990? So we have our final amount is 12,345. We're looking for our population in 1990, which will be our x. We start with 100% minus our percent that they're giving us because it's a decrease. So 100 minus 39.3 all over 100. So doing our subtraction first, we're going to get 60.7 over 100. Now multiplying by our common denominator, we're going to have a really large number. 1,234,500 equal to 60.7x. Now divide by 60.7 and we're going to get that we have 2 or 20,337.7 20, 
726. Now since this represents people, we want to have a whole number of people. And so since my 7 is larger than 5, we're going to round up and we're going to get 20,338 people for our population in 1990.